All right, what's up, DVW fam? We're currently in the beautiful city of San Sebastian in the north of Spain right now. This beautiful view is not the only thing to see here. The city has some of the best food, a lot of restaurants on the Michelin Guide, a lot of Michelin star restaurants as well. So let's uh, explore the Basque country and find some great Basque food and uh, delicious cuisine and drinks. Let's go. All right, really interesting story about what's occurring right now. We are currently in line for this popular spot called Bar Nesto. Apparently they serve some great tortillas and we, someone in line told us that they only have 16 serving and we're at 10 spot in line right now. And me and uh, Javi made a mission over here while well, it was pouring rain for these tortillas. So it's like a line for Yeezys. We're in 10th out of 16 spots. So looks hopeful for us. Only bad news is that we have to wait for another hour. So. Wish us luck. Let's see if uh, it's uh, worth the pain. 12.45. Buenos días. Hola, hola. ¿Qué tal? Eh, pues para nosotros dos. Dos pinchitos. Dos pinchitos, sí. ¿Nombre? So this is our little corner right here. This is our corner in this bar. It's packed to the brim like sardines. This little thing right here is what we went through all this trouble for. The tortilla, it means a uh, omelet in Spanish. So it's our little omelet with our baguette bread. So this is one of the 16 slices. The limited slices feels very special to try this. Mm. Oh, there's potatoes in here. It's like a potato omelet. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. Javi's <laughs> laughing right now because I didn't know there was tor potatoes in a tortilla. When he told me it was a tortilla, I thought it was like a Mexican tortilla like a flour tortilla or something like that on a burrito mm. the potatoes are nice and creamy oh it's really salty it's caramelized onions in here it's almost like al gratin potatoes on the inside the eggs like pasteurized eggs very the eggs has a very distinct taste javi is telling me that like all the eggs in spain have to be like fresh they taste different than American eggs, basically, because they have like different rules and regulations here. But it's pretty good, honestly. It's pretty good. A little bit on the salty side, but way good. That's why they have this bread to kind of like soak up the flavors of this little tortilla omelet here. Tortilla de patata, so potato omelet. Fire. Fuego. This is good. It is good. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I don't think I've tried this good once before. Ooh. And I've tried, and I've definitely had a lot of potato on it. Javi really likes it. I feel bad for them because this is, this is the first one he tries. Everything he tries after this one is going to be a bit worse. <laughs> so Javi agrees, this is the best tortilla patata he's had. Omelette, potato. It was really good, honestly. I, I really liked it. DVW score for this 9.6 out of 10. Just because it was a little tad bit salty, but like with the bread. Everything is great, but yeah guys, I wouldn't say that I'd wait for this every day because it was a hard time getting it, but it was maybe it. once in a while, it's definitely worth the wait, just to try. Really glad I tried it, but look, you can even make it into like a baguette sandwich. Mm. That's the way to do it. Savory, savory bite. That was a mouthful too, but we got some San Sebastian cider. If you guys didn't know, Cider is like a really special thing here. They like pour on the top so like air could get through it. But uh, this one was already poured for us, so let's try it out. Ooh, a little cloudy looking. Let's try it out. Ooh, really sharp taste. A little bit sour. Not too sweet like the cider back home, but refreshing. Yeah, this is how how I eat it. I want to. I like to put it like in the sandwich. Nah, I, I want to eat it, in, but there's only one a day. I could yep. have eaten a whole one of this. Yeah. Obviously, you could have ate a full one, but like I said, they only serve one a day, and it's gone. Only two of them, sixteen slices, and then gone. 
So this guy is the famous chef here that makes the omelet or the tortilla de patata. He comes in every morning. We actually saw him pass by. Yeah, so this is some pictures of him when he's really young. So And looks like he still has the bar. So I guess this bar has been popping since that long. Another one of those dishes that they here, one of their top items is Success at Bar Nestor. There's still a long line here. Great food. A lot of people come here for the steak as well, but on to more San Sebastian food adventures. Let's go! Tomorrow. Just walking around here, finding food is really fun as well because the landscape, sceneries, all these buildings look really picturesque, aesthetic, and there's some like churches around too. Really cool walk around SS. So this is another Pichos bar in San Sebastian and supposedly they're supposed to have the best fast burnt cheesecake in San Sebastian, so let's check it out. These are the famous cheesecakes right here. Some cooking up here. This is the kitchen. This is not a slice right here. Ah, the dough, the dough. This is how they put it in the oven. It comes out like that. Alright, we're at this little cool bar called La Vina. Apparently they serve some great cheesecakes. Avi said that they call this the best cheesecake in Spain and some people come here to taste it just to say that it is not. Let's try it out. Hey. It's pretty fire guys, it has three different textures, on top it's a little crisp, harder, on the inside it's, it's like creamy, thick cheese, and it's a little bit moussey too, kind of like a tres leches, it's pretty fire. Is there any one you had yesterday? I think so, it's softer, different textures, the one yesterday I had, the cheese was harder, this cheese is like perfectly in the middle, not too hard, soft, like I said there's three textures, a little crisp on the outside, firm, not hard, cheese, and then like a moussey layer on the inside. Yeah, it's really funny. Javi tells me that this place has the title of the best cheesecake in the world, but people come here just to hate on it basically to say they've had it and that's not but even w score get a cheesecake it's not too sweet either it's not too cheesy i would say it's perfect it's, give it like a 9.5 out of 10. w score fire so i'm from southern spain so i prefer like sweeter cheesecakes with like maybe some cookie action on it you know but like this one is definitely one of the best ones i've had in this style and anyway, I really like cheesecake, so for me it's different to, you know, for me it's hard to say, oh, this is a bad cheesecake, because I usually like it a lot. But yeah, it seems really good. I, I agree with his DVW score. <laughs> this is actually a Basque burnt cheesecake, so that's why it tastes the way it does. And it has a that little crisp on the outside, because if you go to different parts of Spain, you'll get different cheesecakes, and Javi said he likes it sweeter. But this one is not as sweet. Which, um, if you guys are into Asian desserts, like, we kind of like that. Not too sweet, but yeah. I guess Javi's, uh, did you come here to hate to say it's not the best cheesecake? Yeah? Could be, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had a friend who made one in his house, and I like it better. <laughs> so a friend of mine made a, a cheesecake a couple of days ago uh, in his house. I, and I, for example, I like it better, but probably because it was, like, fresh made. I don't know. <laughs> guys, this is really good. When you get to the middle... It's like a, almost like a flan consistency, it gets softer, more milky and creamy. This is where the sweetness comes from, a little mousse inside. But guys, also really cool little bar, tavern to eat this into. Really cozy in here, there's a lot of these all over San Sebastian, little bars you come in, get some quick 
food. Also, pretty good value too. It's like six euros each. You get a huge cheesecake, so. My first bass burnt, guys. Last bite right here. They have like a much different culture. We Gotta savor it. Flamenco things you see on the like on the movies in Spain. Okay. And then. So what I learned so far in San Sebastian, only being here a couple hours, that the weather is bipolar, and at any given moment there could be a downpour. So sometimes people like stand in these little corners to not get wet, and then continue on when the, I guess when the sky stops crying. Trying to go on this food tour in San Sebastian, and this is what the world throws at us but that's the thing about travel right you never know what's gonna happen it's gotta roll with the punches and it's what we're doing so about to get more food and SB or SS San Sebastian Alright guys, so we're at another little tavern called um, Mejillonera. The spot is known for their seafood, the deep fried calamari right here with sauce. This looks amazing. Let's try this out right here. Mm. Oh. I won their top hitters. Crispy calamari. Nice, light crisp. You can really taste the calamari. It's fresh. You can definitely taste the calamari on there. Not a lot of like OCD taste, but the sweet and spicy mayo. Really creamy, decadent. Rich. But guys, we're city by the sea, so the calamari. Definitely the hip seafood here. Fire. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely the bass culture and vibes. It's like this in all these pink chose bars, pink chose and half of small dishes. You get your dishes and a couple of drinks and you enjoy your night. We've been going on this food tour, we've been going to get their specialties at a couple of these spots. Each of these spots has their own specialties. This one is the seafood, the calamari. And we got these um mejoneras. This is their specialty, so these mussels. Mm, I didn't even get to the mussels. They're just like a tomato-based soup. You heard that slurp, right? Oh, man. Oh, yeah. The soup is where it's at. Yeah, the tomato-based soup. It's a little bit spicy, sweet. But the mussel is nice and fresh. kind of melts in your mouth. You don't get like that fishy, oceany taste from it. Mm. The texture is nice and bouncy. Not too chewy. It's not chewy at all, actually. It's really fresh oysters. And we are in Spain, so we got some sangrias to wash it down with. We got a Cali Mosto. I tried it for the first time at the first place, but got sangria for this one. Oh, this ingredient is different. It's not super sweet. It's kind of minty, lemony. Cheers. Salud. Hey guys, this spot really is a hidden gem. I'm very glad we went here because we had like a, a list of spots to go to and a lot of them were really crowded. Nowadays at dinner time, they were like really full to the brim and we we're hungry and we needed to find some so we kind of just waltz into one of the bars i actually got recommended this by one of my friends but this one's like a low-key spot and honestly one of the best better pink shows i've had on this trip this calamari is a must get maybe i'm just a squid fan love calamari but i give this spot a dvw score 9.5 out of 10. i think this calamari dish i'll give this like a 9.8 out of 10 just because and it's not their fault i just wish i could have this with a little bit less mayo i could probably ask for that next time it'll be a 10 out of 10 but the calamari is really good here light crisp batter they don't overdo it these mussels i give a solid 9 out of 10 and um gotta try these patatas bravas javi ordered these so they're basically like fried potatoes with like sauce kind of like um home fried potatoes a little bit crispy but the sauce is where it's at it's drowned in the sauce so apparently it's brava sauce, like fry sauce, but it's homemade brava sauce. So it's like spicy tomato is what Javi is telling me in the sauce. Pretty good. Kind of tastes like just regular side to go along with this. Pretty good. I'll give it like 8 out of 10. Loving the San Sebastian vibe so far. Just going into any of these pink shows bars, you're going to have a great time with good food. All of these spots 
have amazing, you know, chef inspired pinchos, which are small dishes and fair prices too. Like this is seafood. Seafood is usually expensive, but we're city by the sea, so the seafood here isn't even like super expensive. These dishes are probably like seven-ish euros each, right? Six, seven euros, six, seven euros for this. And the drinks were like three euros, right? Yeah. So so inexpensive quality food all around San Sebastian. That's the vibes here. You walk through the city, it's beautiful. And you walk into any tapas, pinchos bar, and you can get like a variety. Like like I said, the seafood is their specialty here. If you go to another place, it might be their patatas bravas or their tortillas. Patatas, tortilla patatas. And then that would be their specialty there. So if you guys want a variety, you can just walk around and try a bunch of stuff. Or you can get a bunch of pinchos at one spot, but that's what we've been doing and it's been a vibe so far. BBW score for this whole spot, 9.5 out of 10. For their seafood, this one is seafood focus. Fire, fuego. Yo, my homie here, Javi, actually doesn't even like seafood and listen to what he has to say about the calamari that I forced him to eat. So like, these are the best calamari I've ever had. Okay, so these are really good calamari. Dan said he doesn't like that there's too many sauce. For me, it's good. I like the many sauce. And the bravas are pretty good too. I, I may have had better bravas, but I, I don't remember. They're really good. Yeah. Guys, so this is the nutritional value of the mussels right here, their main items right here. That's really funny. That's how you know that they really respect their mussels right here. Salud. Cheers. Oh, if you guys can hear them screaming in the back, we've been to multiple pink shows bar. Whenever you order, like, because these are tapas, very small, quick, easy dishes, they just scream them to the chef in the back, and there's multiple people going in and out. So that's how they get the order across. It's really cool. Kind of like a Japanese, like, izakaya bar. So, yeah, they do the same thing. They scream in the back, and then your dishes magically appear in front of you. Literally. Each one of these little, like, pink shows bars are generally really small, and I like that they all have their own personality. Like, some are more traditionally, like, San Sebastian. Some are more, like, artistic some have a bunch of like uh, posters and kind of like uh, art and plaques on them this one I feel like is a little bit hipster has a really interesting touch but yeah has a little homey vibe but yeah but one thing in common with all of them is that they're all packed to the brim because everybody's lining up for the great pinchos the, the good food here great food great value guys I love running into hidden gems and un and pleasant surprises stroke of you know fate we walked in here and this is like I said some of the best seafood pinchos I've had. I don't think we've had specifically seafood pinchos. This one was DVW score for this whole spot 9.5 out of 10. Definitely recommend La Mejionera. So yeah, either we're gonna find some more pinchos or we're gonna end the night here. So if you guys like this video, please like it. Comment down below if we missed anything in San Sebastian or we should return because there's so many pinchos bars here, we cannot cover them all. Yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. Deuces.